Hello and welcome to another episode of Ascension Talk with Ariella. And today I am absolutely overjoyed to in introduce you to a, a dear friend of mine. She's also a client and um, I just know that she's going to be, you're going to be getting to know her a lot more in the future because this girl is on a serious fast track and she's She's very spiritual. She's very committed to her higher calling. And it has been an absolute honor to get to know her over the past few years and uh, to journey with her. So I'm going to be introducing you to her, but her name is Nicola Eland. You can all see her on your screen. And the reason that I have asked Nicola to be on Ascension Talk with Ariella today is because Nicola to me represents a really great example of the type of person, like the, the ways of being, the way that you need to show up in the world, your attitude, in other words, in order to be able to advance, to be able to ascend, to be able to evolve into your soul calling. Because there's a few things that I know about Nicola. The first thing is, like I say, she is, she's very driven. She goes all the way. When she commits to something, she fully commits and she fully shows up. You know, and that's why she creates results in her life. Also, um, she has an incredible heart. I mean, she has got such an open, generous and grateful heart. So, as the title of this of this live stream says, Nicola actually won a prize from me, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So she won a prize to actually win a free ticket to come to a retreat that I just did last month in June, which was here in the UK. And part of that was um, it was a six day retreat. There was accommodation. There was you know it was all inclusive if you like this retreat. Uh, and with all of the services and everything that was received there, it came to a value of about £6,000. So, you know, how did she win that? Why did she win that? Why did the universe decide to gift it to her? Because it was literally a prize draw. It was, you know, a name that I pulled out of my crystal singing bowl um, because she had, she had actually heard the call uh, that I gave last year to join me and join some of my coaches. One of them is, is my incredible business coach out in the States. And Nicola, she she was called, she, her, her intuition told her that she needed to be at this event. She's based in the UK like me, so spent you know considerable amounts of money investing in a flight, investing in hotels, you know, flying 11 hours across the pond to be in the States. And it was because of that, and I, I ran this this competition, this this prize draw while we were out there, and anybody who was there had an opportunity to win a free place to my retreat, and Nicola got it. So we want to sort of go underneath the the surface of this today. So, you know, what what has Nicola's attitude, like how she shows up, how does that manifest results in her life? And also to like give some inspiration, give some tips to, to those of you who are watching this that might also be in a place where you're really wanting to connect with your higher calling, you know, but you're you're perhaps asking questions on how you can do that. So let's go under the the sea, let's go under the waters of revelation and get to know Nicola a little bit more. But first of all, Nicola, a very, very warm welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. That's an amazing introduction. Thank you. <laughs> Got a little tear coming down my eye. <laughs> As I have to say. As I have to say. But it's all, it's all true. So we met when? We met, what, four or five years ago? How long was that? 20, 2015. Yeah. And it was, um, uh, it was probably more like, I think it was like September time. Um, when we were doing it, we both did um, human design workshops is probably the best way to put it, human design workshops with Erica. And uh, I'd been going for quite some weeks and then Ariella just rocked up one week, bounding in with this amazing light. And, um, and I'll never forget Erica at the end, 
she mentioned that um, you did soul, soul purpose readings, um, soul blueprint readings. So, uh, so I was like, ah, oh, I quite like to have that. I was very, I was, I was at the time going through a really bad dark night of the soul, uh, which lasted for quite a long time. Um, and I'll oh, just, yeah. So I had. Uh, yeah. I just realized I need to plug in my socket, so just bear with me. Right. Um, yeah, so I uh, <laughs> so I was going through a big dark night of the soul, and I thought, right, I need to have that experience. I need to go through that. So I arranged um, a, a reading with you, and we just sort of started from there. And you did my soul purpose reading, uh, soul blueprint reading, and then you did my um, – then we went on and you did my gene keys as well. And then you introduced me to uh, Star Children of the Revolution, which was yeah. a website um, that was group my that you were running. That was my group, yeah, on yeah. Facebook. Star yeah. Children of the Revolution, that's where it started for me as well, yeah. It was an amazing group. And at the time, because it's massive now, um, but at the time it was like quite a small amount of people and it was just, it was just nice and like-minded people. I was very lost. I was going through a really tough time. Um, I just split up from a partner, um, and it was ended. So it, well, it was my awakening, basically. It was my awakening, and I started to know and feel things and know what he was thinking. And even though he, he left, and it was nothing to do with me anymore, I still had that connection. It wasn't going away. I was I so confused. That. I thought I was going crazy. I wanted to march myself to the nearest um, asylum and get lock myself locked up. When and, you were going um, through your awakening, a big awakening, weren't you, basically? Yeah. yeah when yeah, you, it was. Yeah. And it yeah. Can, as our viewers know, and as I know, you know yeah. going through these, these big shifts in our spiritual evolution, these awakenings, these activations, whatever you want to call them, they can, as you say, they can sometimes come with like the dark night of the soul. Yeah. Um, or, you know, a, a, a very quick purge of the shadow, yeah. which can bring yeah. up some very difficult to handle emotions yeah so yeah, exactly. but you're also very open I mean you're you're highly intuitive you have many gifts you're a channel right so you were kind of going I am a big channel this, yeah this stage where there was some like and I'm sure everybody can understand this and I had it as well where there's some confusion yeah am I going crazy yeah yeah. Or, 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 yeah. or is this actually happening? These voices in my head, these visions. Is, <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. And and because of that, I, I, I nearly I nearly did something, you know, quite drastic at the time. You know, I nearly I was con highly considering, uh, you know, taking myself out of the place and, you know, all the things that everybody else goes through when they have this. And if it wasn't obviously we've had this discussion but if it wasn't for the likes well for yourself basically i you know i probably wouldn't be here you know and for the for the introduction to that purpose to that to that blueprint to that to to, to myself and and that knowledge that that brought with it that made me realize actually there is something a lot bigger than than you know than me wanting to i'm not crazy and me wanting to like take everything away right now and then it made me decide to stay mm -hmm. and i'm so glad that i did <laughs> well, you've you got know? a mission as well you mm -hmm. know you've got a serious mm -hmm. purpose so we're very pleased to um to still have you here so what mm -hmm. what what happened after that then so we Apart from, I mean, you came to my fortieth. I remember that was yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. another milestone for us, right. and it was amazing to to have you then. It's so nice when you also, you know, it doesn't happen with 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 every single client, but with some clients, you know, you do create a, a friendship as well, and it's it's lovely yeah. when it does. So you came yeah. to my fortieth, then you heard the call for the zone event. So I did the zone event. Yeah. So let's just yeah. talk for the, for the viewers that don't know the zone event, and you also have uh, an opportunity to come this year if you if you hear the call. It's actually run in September, and this year it's September twenty second to the twenty fourth, I believe, and it's in California. 
Um, and it's a three day event that my business mentor, who is incredible and who has helped me enormously, you know, most of you know my story, caravan, ex-corporate caravan, and then, you know, aligning with my higher purpose, multiple six figure business, working globally, serving globally, helping people to connect with their higher purpose, all the rest of it. Shanda Sumter is, was a big, big piece for me in that journey. And she's still my mentor today. And she's very heart centered. She's um, she's a very powerful personality, but I like that. You know, she's another catalyst. She's a she's a rocket. Uh, if you you know if you ride on the back of that energy, you're going to transition very fast. And last year, uh, I I shared to my email list that there was an opportunity to pe for people to buy tickets through me, as indeed there is this year. And in fact, if you're interested, I'm going to put the link. Um, after this interview on on in Facebook, so you can have a look. But and if you buy links, if you buy the ticket through me, you actually get a discount. So it's at one ninety seven dollars, um, and that's down from three fifty on her website. Um, and then the tickets go up to a thousand dollars, so it's a considerable discount. And Nicola heard the call, so you wanted to to go to this three day event to check it out, to understand, get some teachings, know how to to build your audience and grow your movement. And then while we were there, I actually I actually encouraged people to go, and I did a prize draw where there were multiple prizes. Somebody won eight thousand pounds from me, which um is helping them to grow their mission this year and you want a place to my retreat so talk a little bit about like going to the zone event following your intuition because the point here the, and the point that i want the viewers to get from this is that aligning with your higher calling means that you need to trust and follow your intuition spirit all the way to the end. So when you mm. feel that calling, and there may be things, and there often is, pretty much always is, things in your physical reality, fears that come up for you, limits that come up for you, things that make you believe that you don't have the money, you don't have the energy, you don't have the time, right? But if you're feeling that call, and if your intuition is saying, yes, I have come to realize, and Nicola is a great example of this, that every single time that I walk through that resistance and I trust, in my soul's calling there are always gifts for me on the other side that i get to see what i've created so let's talk a little bit about that journey for you so by the way if anybody has the opportunity to go it's amazing go absolutely amazing plus thoroughly enjoyed spending that time in america as well as as going and having that experience and and seeing that shanda in an element basically shine is incredible um so i it's funny because i have a, as you know i have a very good strong connection with my guides and as soon as i saw it i think it was something you put you might have im'd me about as well and i was like okay and i was just looked at it and, um, and my guys just went yep like that you know it was straight in there this you, you go in and i was like how you know and they went nope you go in so i did i managed it um i got some bonus work stuff so i'm, I'm anyway i managed it so how much so, did you have to manifest in order to to be there because you can't you coming from the uk i was but i managed to get incredible flights i don't know how i managed to do it i managed to get a great apartment because i was going to be sharing with someone who unfortunately couldn't come with me in the end but an amazing apartment which was just down the road and great flights really really reasonable um so i think i think in the end it kind of cost me about a grand and a half two grand because i did it really budgeted -y. and i didn't go out eating and everything because i was i was right next to a Ch trader joe's which was incredible um so no, already you were starting to see the the doors opening the synchronicity oh. it sounds like you were surprised at the the price of the flights and and that's often the case right and i've had that too it's it's like, oh, that's working easily. That's less than I thought. But we don't yeah. know until we say yes and go through that barrier. So I'm loving this. Yeah. Yeah. And I was so scared. I was going on my own. I was 
traveling on my own. You know, I was going to be there on my own. I didn't really, I knew you, but I knew you would be busy. And, you know, but I still just, I pushed through that because it was really, I was really nervous about going. So I pushed through it and I got it. And it was funny because my brother was um, bunny sitting for me. I have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing companion, Pat. Um, companion bunny rabbit and he was he was bunny sitting for me and he, he kept saying you know if you really don't want to go you can because I was you know shake you know I wasn't shaking but I was you know and I said no no bring I'm going yeah when you're stretching out of your comfort zone it brings up the fear absolutely yeah, all exactly. and uh, and I even nearly it's missed different, the as well. different I'm just gonna say because I think some people you know, sometimes when that fear comes up, it's like, well, why do I feel like this if I'm supposed to be there, right? But resistance always comes up when we're stretching out of our comfort zone. Yes. And, it's, and it's really good to understand that that is like egoic resistance. Mm. It's mm. not, we're not meant to back down at that point. We're meant to push through and to find strategies for us to push through, right? Mm. Agreed, completely. Anyway, long story short, I got there. It was amazing. I had an amazing time. I really, really, really loved my time there. I really loved being on my own as well, which was unexpected. I would obviously have been, have been amazing to have that other person there, but things were that they were. Um, but I did enjoy the experience that I had and and then came home. And then I got pulled out of a hat, a, a, a bowl. Um, my prize draw. Your prize draw, completely <laughs> unexpected completely unexpected um and and i knew at that point and i kind of went to my because i again good relationship was like oh that's i wasn't and they were like yep yeah, <laughs> you're meant to be there and i was yeah, like oh, okay uh, you clearly got something big for me because that's in six months and they went yep we've got to get you there for that six months so they spent whatever it was mm -hmm. For longer than six months it would have been because it was it was, it was september it, it was yeah. probably about nine months something like that yeah, yeah. so it's, they knew that they had like a, a schedule to put me on interesting um, yeah. well i was surprised when i pulled your name out i was ecstatic excited that it would be you and i was also surprised and i remember thinking oh i hope that not everybody thinks that it was just nicola <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. in my crystal singing <laughs> but, um, <laughs> because I can assure you it was a it was a fair competition but there were two other prizes and like I say somebody else won the top prize which is eight thousand pounds in cash um and and she was getting paid that throughout this year which is still happening to help grow her business somebody else I think got a private session with me but mm -hmm. yeah, so it came out that you won the retreat, which was awesome. So let's talk about the retreat because this happened. This has just happened, right? So yeah. it was on the lead up to Solstice. It was in Somerset in a place called Froome in the UK. The very magical land, you know, the tree energy was absolutely vast. The nature was, you know, just really, you know, it's just very much in nature. We were very supported energetically. So what was your experience going through the retreat? It's amazing. People have asked me when they've come out of it, you know, what, how was it? And I've just gone transformational. So what was my experience with the retreat? Firstly, amazing, obviously, lovely to see you. Uh, the place was incredible. The food was incredible. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And catered for everything as well that you put in front of them. Um, but I loved, loved, loved how practical it was because yeah. I'm very logical. I'm very, like Ariel said, I, I'm a channel. I cha I'm very out there. Um, but when it, I'm quite logical, I'm quite here you know and i like practicality of things and it was very practical and you did really amazing exercises practical exercises to get an esoteric outcome mm -hmm. and i loved that because it just really helped that to ground it all in and to make it tangible real you know so for the viewers watching this so the retreats that i do this one that nicola came on it was all about helping to activate people's soul blueprints 
you know and I've spoken about this before and people who know me know that I I use this incredible Hebrew esoteric system which enables you to see what your soul blueprint is so it's what your gifts are it's what um, challenges you're here to transmute into your greatest gifts it's looking at what your goals are what your overall reason for being here is it's basically like your spiritual quest map that's the way to look at it and it's super powerful gives you a ton of insights and it's through activating your soul blueprint that you find everything that it is that you want in life, basically, right? So, you know, people who might be watching this who are saying, well, you know, how do I, how do I unlock my higher abundance? That's contained in your soul blueprint. People who are watching this saying, how do I understand what my gifts are and activate my gifts? That's contained in your soul blueprint. You know, it's like if you want love, health, happiness, gifts, intuition, purpose, passion, you know, it's all in your and money. It's all in your soul blueprint. So I run these retreats to give people an experiential experience of going deeper into their blueprints and um, experiencing their blueprint shedding what what no longer serves them to hold on to yeah releasing the blocks activating their blueprints and then we look at creation so beyond the the retreat you know, what is it that your soul is wanting you to create and like we bring in strategies and support to help people to to create that so we look at the masculine powers of creation and the feminine powers of creation and we balance the two which is very important because that can be quite unbalanced in people, particularly in the spiritual community. We can go very much into the feminine and that is beautiful and we all love it and it's the intuition, it's the direction, it's the magic and we all absolutely love it and it's super, super powerful, um, but it needs to be balanced with the divine masculine. So let's talk a little bit about what I was super impressed with. So again, about about you, Nicola, and about the way that you you show up. So firstly, I mean, you're, so we do initiations. We're not going to go too much into detail about that, right? Because it needs to be sacred for people who you might, you might be watching this and thinking you, you're you interested in joining the future. So we're going to keep it sacred for you. But we do initiations at the retreat. So Nicola took a big initiation without divulging too much. Can you just talk a little bit about what it was that you were moving past as part of your initiation? So my big thing that I have been working on for quite some time is self-love and self-worth. And um, recently I am was trying to buy a home and it was all wrapped in with my self-worth and I was having a block with my um because so, I also work on integrating myself my soul self on a big level um and I do that continually I work with a system continually I love it so much um and I had a block there as well and so what I did for my initiation was I wrote um like a, a, a song because I don't like singing around that situation and around that self hatred is the, but yeah you know it was around that and and my journey of my own self-love um throughout my life basically and uh, and then did it in front of a lot of people very vulnerable oh. I don't like singing around that situation. Yeah, sorry, we just had a little <laughs> bit of a noise interference. <laughs> I was like replaying in the background. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were speaking. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I was kind of accepting it as a natural part of the phenomena. But um, yeah, okay, there was a bit of a tech, a bit of a Mercury retrograde issue there. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Well, okay. So what we know is what I can share about Nicola's initiation was that it was huge. I mean, you know, you are not everybody chooses to stretch as far as Nicola did, but she really, really went for it. We can't divulge too much of the details, but trust me, this girl stretched very far. Talk about, so you did that stretch, you really went for it. Like you said, you had you had this house that you wanted to purchase and it was I, kind of like the energy was a bit stuck. Was it a it was. day after the retreat it or was something? The very next day I had yeah. my mortgage confirmed. You got yeah. your mortgage confirmed. And this would be yeah. the thing, like we all knew everybody that was there, there was 18 <laughs> of them in the group. You know, Nicola had been talking about this, you know, manifesting it and and we were just all cheering to hear that she had actually been awarded him. You know, would know. that have happened if she hadn't mm -hmm. have stretched so much in her retreat with its all energy, right? It's mm -hmm. all energy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're leading with your energy, when you're leading with your passion, when you're as driven as Nicola is, mm -hmm. then you start to see results on the other end. Mm -hmm. So that was an immediate result very fast manifestation yeah i love your so at the end of the retreat then people create like creation challenges for them effectively yeah things that they're going after and i was super super inspired to hear about nicholas so tell the viewers a, a bit about what you're creating and hey maybe some of them might even like to join you for your it's a free gift right so talk a little bit about this so yeah that would be amazing so um for my creation going forward i'm a i'm a vocal channel um and so what i'm doing is i am uh doing i'm going to be doing a live webinar so that people can ask questions um on anything really uh, i i work with a group of beings called the collective so the collective are going to come forward and they will you can do a Q&A session with them. Um, I'm not sure, depending on how many people are going to be on there, how many questions you get, probably one each. I don't know. We'll, we'll need to see. And uh, yeah, and you get to, to have like a, a live Q&A session with me. Well, not me, with the collective who um, are an amazing group of beings. Um, and I, I believe as well, there's whispers that the because I work with the Elohim. Um, and they do clearings and healings. And I think the Elohim are probably going to come through and do a little bit of a a group for everyone kind of clearing as well. Wow, that sounds so, amazing. Well, send, yeah. send us your link when you go to do that and I will share it with this group. Yeah. And send yeah. us the date and time and all of that stuff. Um, because, you. yeah, it's you. You are you're an incredible being, you've got a lot of gifts, you're an incredible healer, I know your soul blueprint pretty well, and I just looked at it before this, this call and refreshed myself, and I'm remembering now, remembering or seeing, I get shown everybody's blueprints when I need to, it, I, I didn't realise until recently that I do actually have a photographic memory, which explains a lot, and what I'm seeing is, you've now in your current name, Nicola Eland, you've got that 1-1, one, one, haven't you, in spiritual goals? I do. I do. I think I even have a 10 one and a 1-1 one, one somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm yeah. Always very excited when I see that 1-1. One, one. Mm. A straight 1-1 one, one like that is quite rare to have. Mm. And it means that, you know, you are a channel, a pure channel for, for source consciousness to bring through healing to others. You, know, you have a clear connection to the divine. Mm. And, um, I'm really looking forward to continuing our journey and seeing what those one 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 ones get to look like in the world. Yeah. And I believe this channeling events will be it, it's going to be a platform. It's going to be a springboard, right? Yeah. To help you to get. So I just love tracking your journey. I love your attitude. I love how you're showing up. Yeah, I I I love how you are creating these opportunities for yourself because you're following your intuition. And I'm and I'm just really seeing these new openings, these new opportunities and how you're evolving, you know, and like really connecting with your with your mission. And I just applaud you, honey. I absolutely applaud you. 
and you're an inspiration. You're such an inspiration and you're amazing to work with. I adore working with people like you who are so committed and um, so trusting of how the divine works in their life. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The yeah. system is incredible. And anybody who is even wavering or thinking about, you know, should you, shouldn't you go, the system is incredible. It's a life changer. It is a true life changer. It really is. I've gone from not wanting to, you know, not, not knowing or even how to function to crying with joy every other day because I can't believe how lucky I am. So this is amazing. I'm going to share some links in the Facebook group underneath this post for how you can discover what your soul blueprint looks like. You can find that on my website. I'm also going to send um, post the link about the zone event as well. Um, and then Nicola, when you do your amazing channeling, we'll also Thank be sharing you. that in the group. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's been amazing to be on this journey with you. And um, yeah, just an, an honor and pleasure. Yes, I'm really great. I'm grateful to you for being my mentor, being my friend and being there, you know, that to kick me when I needed it. <laughs> You're amazing. The, the, the catalytic grateful. force of the nines in the blueprint, yeah. what can you say? <laughs> yeah, I do yeah. love my nines. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right. So, yeah, thank you so much. I can see some comments are, are coming through. Um, I'm not able to see who they are from because um, the platform that we're on at the moment isn't showing names right now. But I think when I had a little peek, there was Sandy watching, there was Debbie watching, all your your uh, colleagues there from the retreat, Nicola. So they are they're watching this interview. Hi, you guys. And um yeah, for anybody who is watching this, who is wanting to get to that next step, who's wanting to go to the next level, then I hope that what you've heard, some of what you've heard in today's interview has inspired you. And I think the, the underlining piece in all of this is about following, trusting and following spirit all the way to the end, all the way to the end, past those blocks, past the resistance. Yeah and staying yeah. in that place of you know excited anticipation about what you are creating on on the other side if there's one thing that you take away from this interview let it be that to trust and follow your higher guidance all the way to the end any last words from you nicola before we end follow your heart and your, your intuition like you say and yeah just just keep just just keep going love it love it love it and thank you yeah thank you bye for now everybody thank you so much for watching i will see you next thursday at 4 p.m london for another 4 p.m london for another ascension talk with ariella we always discuss different all different aspects of the ascension journey sometimes i'm interviewing sometimes sometimes it's just me giving a teaching or sharing experience on something so please put that in your diaries we're here on the first three Thursdays of the month at 4 p.m. London, 4 p.m. UK. Much love to you all. Have an incredible rest of your day.